you may have recently heard that geomagnetic storm is impacting the planet right now. So what does this mean? Will it impact us in Tennessee? Do we need to call Wonder Woman a Superman? <laughs> no, but Assistant Chief Meteorologist Victoria Cavallari is here to tell us exactly what this geomagnetic storm is. Yeah, so there's been a lot of talk on social media. We've seen a lot of posts about people wondering exactly what right. is a geomagnetic storm? Is it going to impact us? And essentially, this is all in the category of space weather. So a little different from the weather I currently forecast for. <laughs> but a geomagnetic storm really occurs when there's an outburst of plasma from the sun. And we're talking about something that's called a coronal mass ejection, oh, which is sometimes known as a CME. <laughs> now, long story short, this solar flare and this solar storm does appear to be weakening. It was at its strongest yesterday. And the latest information that I saw there from NASA and the Space Center, they've been saying that it's showing some signs of weakening. So basically, this impacts Earth's magnetic field and results in that geomagnetic storm. Sometimes what can happen is it can knock out satellites, right. it can impact communication, power grids, radio frequencies. But for a lot of people, they want to know if they're going to see the northern lights. Yes. Or as we said in the break, we were talking no. on Aurora Borealis. Yes, I would like to say northern than lights, it's easier to say, but yes, yes. I, I have never seen them in my life, so I, I haven't either, yeah, and some... I don't think tonight's the night for us to see <laughs> them <are> either, <laughs> especially not here in East Tennessee. Now, yesterday they did have some strong aurora borealis, but the problem was it peaked yesterday during the daylight hours, and we need it to be nighttime here right. tonight. I don't think it's going to be strong enough for us to be able to see it. We also have a ton of clouds across the area as we're dealing with that storm system that's about to come in, so doesn't look like we'll be able right. to see aurora borealis here tonight, and for everybody concerned about their cell phones or that sort of thing it is weakening and for most individuals it really doesn't play that big of an impact on right. their communication well so there's a lot there but yes. not for us and of course if there ever is a time when that northern lights looks like it may come down this far we'll of course keep you well, yes and then we'll hope that it won't be cloudy yes. so that we can see always victoria thank you i'm glad